Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is the Googlegan Android Trojan. Researchers from Checkpoint have been following an Android Trojan, which they named Googlegan, for over a month now. And apparently, this Trojan has infected over 1 million Android devices, although many of the devices are running older versions of the Android operating system. Now, this Trojan primarily spreads through third party marketplaces. There's around 86 or so applications that, if you download from some third party marketplace, not Google Play, it might infect you with this particular malware. Once you're infected with the malware, it actually joins a command and control channel and shares some information with the attacker. One of those pieces of information is your actual Android device's Google authentication token. And this is a pretty valuable token. It allows your phone or your device to log on to Google as you. Even if you have two-factor authentication enabled, this token alone is enough for people to access your Google accounts. Now the good news is the bad guys don't seem to be using using this token to gain access to those million Google accounts yet. Rather, they're using this malware to actually generate money. This malware, the first thing it really does is it roots your Android phone. It knows a number of different rooting vulnerabilities, vulnerabilities that affect the older versions of Android, but it still represents about 74% of the Android devices out there. Now, once it roots your phone, they use that extra privilege to download other applications and to make your phone automatically review those applications well, which of course means they get higher standings in the Google Play marketplace. So it seems these bad guys are, are trying to monetize their attack by forcing millions of phones to, to rank Google applications, which uh, presumably people will buy to make these bad guys money. In any case, it seems to be a relatively widespread threat for a piece of Android malware, and it seems to also be related to a previous uh, Android malware variant called Ghost Push. Anyways, how do you prevent this if you're an Android user? Well, first of all, don't download applications from third-party uh, marketplaces. While it's cool that Android allows you to sideload applications, one of the most dangerous things you can do is load code from some unknown marketplace. I recommend you stick with Google Play. On top of that, you can consider a, a number of different security solutions for Android devices. In any case, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.